Hi, this is Tim from MathWorks. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up simulation by using a model reference local solver. Starting in R2022A, you can choose to apply a local fixed step solver to a referenced model. This can be useful when your model contains subcomponents whose time constants of interest differ by several orders of magnitude. You can speed up simulation by choosing a lower cost solver configuration for the slower subcomponents. In this model, a DC motor has been divided into mechanical and electrical subcomponents. Because the time constant of the mechanical dynamics is much slower than the electrical dynamics, it's a good candidate to use a local solver. Looking at the model block dialog, we see a new solver section. We can see that local solver is currently disabled. Clicking this link will jump into the reference model's config set where I can enable local solver. When I turn local solver on, it means the reference model will be solved as a separate differential equation from the top. The top solver is still responsible for other states in the model, such as those in the electrical subsystem. The local solver settings are controlled by the solver panel of the referenced model's config set. This can be conveniently accessed with the hyperlinks in the model block dialog. Here I've chosen to use ODE2 as the local solver with a step size that is several orders of magnitude larger than that of the top solver. Now we'll run the model and observe the simulation speed. The gauge shows how far the simulation is advancing for each second of computation time. We can see that the simulation is advancing about 16 milliseconds for every one second of real world computation time. Now, I'll turn the local solver off and solve everything as one big differential equation with the top solver. We can see that the simulation slows down a bit relative to when we used a local solver. You can also use a variable step top solver with a fixed step local solver. Here, I flipped the DC motor model so that the electrical side is solved locally with ODE2 and a fixed step of 2 times 10 to the minus 7. The top uses ODEN with a max step of 0 0.002. When using a variable step top solver, it is important to check Enable Decoupled Continuous Integration in the top model. This ensures the variable step in the top is not constrained by the local fixed step size. In this configuration, we see that we're able to advance about 25 milliseconds of simulation time for every one second of real world computation time. Now I'll turn local solver off and use ODEN to solve everything. Since we need to capture the dynamics of the electrical model, I'll set the max step down to 2 times 10 to the minus 7. As before, we can see that the simulation was faster when we used a local solver. If you want to try out local solver for yourself, download R2022A and check out our example, use model reference with local solver in a DC motor.